Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual JC Rumble. For those of you who are not aware of how the JC Rumble works, if you are thrown over the top rope, you will be eliminated from the match. There will be 20 wrestlers. Every 60 seconds, a new one will be introduced and join in the Rumble. But before we start, please welcome Papyrus, winner of the very first JC Rumble. Look out, look out, look out behind you! Ah! Oh. Shit! What is Alex Frost doing here? Oh, he's looking out for revenge. He wanted to get revenge on that fucking skeleton prick for what he did to him at the first JC Rumble. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that Alex Frost has left the ring after getting revenge on Papyrus, we are going to start the second annual JC Rumble. Starting with our first two combatants, the first one being Brendan Fraser, aka Tony Alimony. He's fighting to get his rights back, fighting to not be known as an asshole anymore, and oh shit, well, he's going to have a bit of trouble doing that because it's not important. Literally his name. Some people call him the antagonist, but you know, call him what you will. He's going to fuck shit up. They're going to have at it, both of them struggling with each other. I don't know why they do at the start. Why do they do that at the start? Honestly, I don't really know. But anyway, it looks like Brendan Fraser is making the first move on Not Important. About to do a nice little suplex there. Nice. But anyway, I just want to talk about Brendan Fraser here. What is up with his legs? Why is he so skinny? I mean, his head, I can underst- I don't understand his hair actually. But anyways, it looks like Not Important is going for the elimination on him. But no, Brendan Fraser is going to hold in there. And here comes the next combatant in about three seconds. Who will it be? It's your favorite guy. It's Markiplier. Donning his pink mustache. And why is he so buff? Seriously, take a look at this guy's arms. He's clearly been training, using steroids. Or both. You know, that's kind of what you're supposed to do with steroids. But... Brendan Fraser and Markiplier. Looks like they're going to be teaming up on Not Important, which is a great idea. There they go, having at it. Not Important is a dangerous man. It would be wise to take him out early. And that appears to be exactly what they are doing. Markiplier stopping him while he is on the ground. Picking him back up, trying to pull that combo off all over again. But Not Important doesn't look like he's going to be taking that anytime soon. Brendan throws him into a corner. Markiplier is now beating up on Brendan. You truly cannot make friends in the Royal Rumble. There is no allies here. There is no such thing as allies. And ladies and gentlemen, the Mac is back. This time with blue equipment, blue boxing gloves, trousers, shorts, whatever you want to fucking call them. He doesn't give a fuck. He is coming into the ring to clear his name. And to be honest, I hope he does. He is someone who definitely deserves respect. He's taken on people twice his size before, sometimes even three times his size. But it seems like Markiplier is trying to put a stop to that. He does not want to see Little Mac make it out. Will Little Mac hold on? He will. And now he's going to take it out on Markiplier. There he goes, beating the absolute shit out of him. And he's going to go for the elimination on Mark now. Taunting him while he throws him out. Or at least trying to throw him out. But Markiplier ain't having that shit. Not this day, not tomorrow, not any fucking day. And now we've got our next combatant coming in in five seconds. And you know what? There's been no elimination so far. So things are about to get packed. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is high motherfucking noon. Here comes McCree. Another returning fighter. He made it so far into the last JC Rumble. And he just got eliminated right when it was his time to shine. And he's here to get revenge for that. And you know what? That's something I want to talk about. The returning fighters. Not everyone in this round is going to be new. Some people are returning because they paid fucking money to get in. But McCree, he didn't pay anything. He, like, we just had an extra slot open, and, you know, we were like, well, shit. Well, you know, the beta just ended for Overwatch, so let's just fucking invite McCree. He's got nothing else to do. He's just gonna be standing around like a jackass. But you know what? McCree is not doing that. Not at all. He is going for the elimination on Not Important, trying to pick up first blood. And it looks like that is exactly what he has just done. Not Important, you had a bad run. Don't shoot terrorists in Iraq or something, you know, something that doesn't involve killing innocent people all day. And, oh, God, no. Well, yes, for some people. I don't know, he's got mixed opinions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Carl. From Aqua Teen Hunger Force. 
He's here to lay the smack down with his fat ass. And what? what what's Little Mac doing? Little Mac's just standing there. Is, is he okay? What, what's he doing? Little Mac, are, are you okay? He's, he's contemplating life. Anyway, it looks like Markiplier is about to be eliminated. That's not good. And Little Mac is just standing there. Markiplier just got eliminated. Little Mac's like... What, what's the meaning of life? What, what, what do I do? What's Carl doing? Carl! Carl is joining the fu- No. McCree. McCree, wake him up. Wake, wake Little Mac up. I don't know. Let's just fucking ignore him. He's, he's gonna wake up soon. Carl with a nice little drop kick. And it looks like Little Mac's awake now. It, it was about time. And now Little Mac is going to beat the shit out of McCree. And it looks like we've got our next competitor entering the ring. It's ya boy! Turn up blog. What a time to be alive. No, don't, don't do that. Don't, please don't never do that again. Carl is thrown into a corner and turn up blog. Turn up blog just put on a fedora. And Carl, Little Mac! The two of them just got eliminated. That easily. Little Mac, your time is not now. I'm sorry, good buddy. You'll clear your name eventually, trust me. Anyway, looks like Turnip Log is being teamed up by the two of them. This is not good. Oh no, Turnip Log. You better hang in there, buddy. You better hang in there. That is exactly what he's doing. Punching them both, getting out of there. And now it looks like they're taking out McCree next. Good idea. McCree, he's pretty strong. But no, Brendan Fraser. He's just a savage today. Oh no, what? Oh no! Oh no! It's the Washington Wanker! Here it comes! He doesn't give a fuck! He's making his way down to the ring! Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your cocks. This is about to get messy. Enters the ring relatively quickly, and Brendan Fraser. He's not having any of that. The Washington Winker gets up. He's kicking the shit out of Tony Alimony. Looks like he's throwing him into the corner. He's gonna go for the elimination. And McCree is also going out for Turnip Log. But Turnip Log, you know him. Your boy would not go out so easily. But Brendan Fraser, hang on there. He's not hanging on. He's losing his grip. He's out of here. I'm sorry. I warned you to hold on to your cock. But you didn't, and you couldn't, because the only thing that's related to a dick is your head. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. And now Turnip Log, he's just... He's just gonna be staying in this. But now... Here comes Turnip Log's nemesis. It's Maroon Cacti. You can see him angry. Frustrated. The two have it out for each other. So let's see what happens. McCree, he's gonna start fighting the Washington Wanker. But no, Maroon Cacti. No, Turnip Log. There he comes. From behind with a nice little suplex there. Very nice. But I want to talk about the rivalry between Turnip Log and Maroon Cacti. It all started when they accidentally, well, Maroon Cacti, accidentally shot Turnip Log in a video game. They were supposed to be allies, but then, you know, friendships don't last forever. Again, that's the thing for this Rumble to remember. There's no making friends. There's no alliances. It's every man for themselves in this place. This ring is dangerous. It's all you or all nothing. We've got our next one coming in now. Who is it? Everybody get up. It's time to slam because here comes Charles Barkley. Just finished his new slam album. And Rune Cacti looks like he's going out for McCree. You better hold on there, McCree, because Maroon Cacti, he doesn't like you. You know, he, he doesn't fucking like you very much. He, he never really liked Cowboys. And, you know, he, he's sick of your Overwatch shit. But no, McCree, he's hanging in there. Maroon Cacti, what? Come on, a back slap, you little fucking sissy. And now Washington Wanker is going for McCree, while Turnip Log goes for Charles Barkley. Oh, no. Maroon Cacti and Washington Wanker are working at... No, no, McCree, just, just kick the shit out of him. McCray, stay in this, man. You're like the only cool guy left. I guess the Washington Wanker is too kind of cool. But you know what isn't cool? Pie crust. 
Literally nobody likes this guy. You can audibly hear the crowd booing if you listen carefully enough. And you know, he just got done fucking a lot of dogs. And, and you know what? The first one he goes for is the Washington Wanker. Maybe this means something, I don't know. But focusing on the match at hand, Charles Barkley nearly eliminates Turnip Blog. And Turnip Blog's not too happy about that. He's gonna fuck Charles Barkley up. Looks like they're struggling with each other. Washington Wanker almost goes over. Turnip Blog is about to eliminate Charles Barkley. Will it happen? We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows what can happen in this ring. Her and Cacti better hang in there. Pie crust! You know, really. Nobody cares. They're booing for you right now. No one likes you. What, what did you just do to the, I've never seen that camera position before. Anyway. McCree. McCree! Oh no, him too. He was he was cool. He was, he was pretty cool. He's pissed now. And you know what? Turnip log. I didn't know he hates black people. Charles Barkley. Oh, he's <laughs> What a jackass! I mean he starts calling for timeout. And what you do is just body slam him. Well, I guess that's why he likes to slam. Turnip log, you can see him visibly stumbling. He's not doing too well. He's he's just not having a good time there. Maroon Cacti is being strangled by the Washington Wanker. Almost goes over. Not quite. And Turnip Log, just, you need to get up, buddy. You have a lot of durability. You can take a lot of punishment before you can be taken out. It's not that easy. Maroon Cacti going for the attack on Washington Wanker, but damn, Turnip Log. Just taking it out on Charles Barkley. Looks like the Washington Wanker is struggling. Oh no, he's gone. He, he's out of here. I'm sorry, buddy. You're gone. And here he comes. Man of the hour. It's Madman. He doesn't quite look too pissed right now, but just you wait. This guy's temper is about explosive as, well, a barrel of, I don't know, jet fuel or something. I don't know. This guy can melt steel beams. That's my point. Rune Cacti. Nope. At least Turnip Log and Rune Cacti are finally having the battle of their life right now against each other. To sell it once and for all. Well, Madman takes out Charles Barkley. Burn Cacti carrying Turnip Log. He's about to do it. There he goes. Burn Cacti has just done it again. And now he's going for Charles Barkley. Why Charles Barkley? Why does, why does everyone target the black guy so much? Really, look at this. That's just not fair. At least he's holding in there. He's pretty good. You know, he actually has a lot of strength and stamina. He can hold on very well. He can take his own against others as well. But Madman doing a nice little spin around there. And here comes Sniper. He just got his level 6. Straight out of Dota 2. And he's coming in to wreck some shit. And the first thing he does. What is he doing to Madman? Holy shit. That little guy's got some muscle if I do say so myself. And then he just kicks him in the balls. Charles Barkley. Shit I didn't even realize he went over. I'm sorry man it's over. Don't have a cow, man. Anyways, it looks like the two are now teaming up against Madman. But I don't know if you really want to piss him off that much. Because you know what? He's hanging in there, and now he's pissed. He's mad. There he goes. Take out the little fucking midget grandpa piece of shit. Yeah, punch him in the face. Kick the shit out of that guy. Come on. Oh, shit. He's up. He's up. You know, Sniper. Why is he taking out Madman? He's actually got some bits. Oh. Really? Really? R really? The papyrus wasn't enough, but now we've got Sans. Well, whatever he's doing here, he's joining the fight. Donning his blue hoodie and his classic memes, he's going for Madman. But you know what? Madman hates memes. He hates Tumblr Tale. Madman can't lose to Sans. Well, Sniper, Sniper! Jeez, that guy's, he's pretty quick. And Madman, he's not going over, not quite. He's sticking in there. And Sniper. Sniper, you know, I just want to talk about Sniper real quick. He's really, really good. He's hanging in here. He's got some good agility. He's got good adrenaline. This guy, he's he's fast. And you know what? He's about to be eliminated by Maroon Cacti. He better hang in there. Oh, no, there he goes. Everything I just said does not apply anymore, Grandpa. And here's Waluigi. What is he doing with that microphone? What is- I can't even hear anything coming out of him. Madman, no! Really? You lost to Sans. Of all the characters. You know, you'd rather lose to Maroon Cacti. At least he's got some skill. At least he's still in this. You know, Maroon Cacti is pretty good, too. 
and Waluigi, just not even a chance. And Amaroon Cacti actually hates memes too, so he's uh, nope, Sans. No, Sans only does one damage. Yeah, bitch, slap him, kick his ass. Come on. Only autistic children like him. Yeah, throw him over. Throw him over. Come on, do it. Do it. Damn it. You know, maybe I shouldn't go so hard on Sans. You know, he is pretty good too. And you know, I can't be biased against him because he's a fucking skeleton. Skeletons are cool. I'm just gonna flat out say that now. But you know who else is cool? It's Dick Kick'em. He's been chewing ass and kicking bubblegum for over 10 years now. And here he is in the JC Rumble. Sans beating up on Maroon Cacti a bit. Dick Kick'em enters the ring and the first thing he does is face plant the ground. That is a very nice first move. You know, it's time to take out Sans. All right, Rune Cacti, get in on that. Come on, yeah, get in on that. Rid this ring of those cancerous Undertale memes. Looks like they are about to do it. They are true bros, friends at last. But <laughs> he just fucking elbows him. Yeah, get out of here, Sans. No one likes you. But again, just because they worked together that one time does not mean they are friends. Dick Kick'em is kicking Maroon in the dick. And also doing whatever he's doing to his skinny little cactus legs. I don't know what he's doing, but hang on. Who's this? Who's... Uh-oh. Coming out of the ground, also straight out of the Overwatch beta, is Reaper. He kind of missed his particle effects there as he was teleporting, but, you know, you can't have everything in life. Moon Cacti just beating up on Dick Kick'em a little bit there. Picking his ear or something. A nice little uppercut to the jaw. Raper coming in, looks like he was trying to swing a sword or something, but all that happened was he just, you know, kind of poked him a little bit. I don't know. Rune Cacti, you better hang in there. Nope, Dick Kick'em comes from behind. Nice back suplex there. And Rune, what's up with Rune Cacti and uppercuts with the skinny little fucking arms? Come on, beat the shit out of Dick Kick'em. Uh-oh, they're doing it. Double slam! That was nice. Unfortunately, doing double attacks like that does not make you allies. It's a good idea to make allies if it weren't for the fact that you cannot trust anybody. Anybody can stab each other in the back at any moment. That's why nobody does it in... It's Jador. Who is this? He's looking for chicken legs, apparently. I don't know who that is. Who's Jador? What? Is he like a Viking from the pat? Never mind. Anyway, he enters the ring pretty quick here. Maroon Cacti struggling a bit. He's almost going over, but doesn't quite go over. Raper, try a little harder. Maybe you'll actually do something in life aside from be an edgy 13-year-old girl's fantasy. And Dick kick him. Jador, are you really already about to be eliminated? Come on, get real. You just got in here. You're a fucking Viking. Kick his ass. Anyway, it looks like Rune Cacti also might go over. Rune Cacti hanging in there. Jador also hanging in there. But Dick Kick'em picks him up with what midget strength he has. Jador and Rune Cacti are both eliminated. What a shame. Anyway, we are up to our last two contestants to be announced. And oh, shit. It's Elvard. Straight out of Boss Arena 2. Also was in the first. She is here to stand on top of towers and snipe the boss like a little pussy. And not do anything to fucking help. Dick Kick'em is going for the assault on Reaper. Reaper punches him in the face. Looks like Reaper is beckoning Elvarg for help. Why is he doing that? I don't know. Elvarg and Reaper may actually be friends. That appears to be the case. Because, look at them. They're working together. They were a match made in heaven. Look at this. Dick Kick'em, you're in for some trouble there. But it looks like he is hanging in there. Doesn't quite want to go over. No, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. He punches him in the face. Get out of here. Get out of here. And Reaper, you backstabbing son of a bitch. What are you doing? You could have been allies. Anyways, we are down to the last combatant to be announced already. Feels so short for me. Anyway, it's Bonzi, buddy. Nobody asked for it, and nobody wanted it. But it's Bonzi, buddy. He's here anyway. Go fuck yourself. And now Dick Kick on beating the shit out of Elvarg. You know, I don't even know why there's a dragon in here. Or let alone how it's losing to someone like Dick Kick'em. Anyway, Bonzi- <laughs> They're all be Gang violence, Jesus Christ! Elvarg, you jackass, that's not gonna do anything. Jesus, Reaper. 
Reaper is just an absolute savage today. Meanwhile, Bonzi Buddy is going for the elimination on Dick Kickham. And Elvarg is also about to go over. We may see a double elimination here real quick. There goes one. Dick Kickham, I'm sorry. You had a good run. But you know, you can't win against these two. Oh shit, and there goes Elvarg. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final two combatants. Reaper and Bonzi Buddy. You know what? Honestly, I could care less who wins. Like, there's, it's either a terrorist or a virus. You know, wh who do you really want to win more? Who do you really want to win more? Oh, wait, what's going on here? Reaper, you're about to go over. Bonzi, buddy, you should have just pushed him over. What are you doing? Bonzi. Oh, no. Bonzi is an absolute savage as well. He's going for the... Uh-oh. Reaper. What are you doing, Reaper? Shit, get out of the way! Ladies and gentlemen, it was hard to see who fell out first. So we're going to have to take a look at the footage, and we'll get back to you later after we see who actually touched it. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? Get security. Security, arrest this guy. Arrest him. Get him out of here. Get out. Get out. We don't fucking want you here. We don't care. Leave. Leave right now. Go. Okay. Go we're back, and, um... Well, Alex just got arrested, and so, okay, never mind. Point is, we got the footage back, and we've slowed it down, and if you look very carefully, you can actually see that Reaper does touch the ground first. As you can see, a closer look here, Reaper touches the ground first. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2016 second annual JC Rumble is Bonzi Buddy. Thank you all for coming, and thank you all for watching.